Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a question that many developers encounter when working with Git. Our viewer is trying to track down a function that was deleted from their code base. They attempted to use a specific Git command to find the change history of that function, but ran into an error. Let's dive into the details of their challenge and explore how we can help them recover that lost function. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. To view the change history or deletion of a function in Git, we can use the git log command with the dash L option. This allows us to track the evolution of a specific function over time. In your case, you want to find the function named findMe in the file index.php. You would enter the command git log l findme index.php. However, if you receive an error message like fatal nidusl parameter func name starting at line one, no match, it indicates that git couldn't find the function in the specified file. This error often occurs if the function is not present in the current version of the file or if the function name is misspelled. Ensure that the function exists in the file's history. To further investigate, you can use git log without the Nash L option to view the commit history of the file and identify when the function might have been deleted. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To view the change history or deletion of a function in Git, you can use the L option, but it only works for existing functions in the current file version. If the function no longer exists, use git log with nicesg to find commits that changed its occurrences. Nices looks for strings, while g uses regular expressions. To search for a function that was deleted, run git log s with the function name and specify the file. This will show all commits that changed its occurrences. Remember to use Nash full history to avoid simplification, ensuring you see all relevant commits, especially if the deletion was part of a merge. Let's now look at another user suggested answer. With Git version 2.3D, viewing the change history or deletion of a function has become easier. Previously, the command git blame l func name path didn't work well with paths that had a user diff driver defined. Several commits contributed to this improvement, including a significant one by Philippe Blaine. This update allows for proper blaming of functions even when specific user diff drivers are in use. The main change involved initializing the path earlier in the blame command, ensuring that the user diff driver is correctly applied when blaming a function.
Let's now look at another user suggested answer. To view the change history or deletion of a function in git, you can use the command git log l. However, this command only searches for function names at the highest level of the file. If you need to find functions inside a class, the best approach is to specify the file and search the output for function logs using git log l followed by the file name. And that's it guys. I hope the video has helped find that resolution that you're looking for. And if it did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until the next time you need a technical video, I hope you have a good one. Cheers. What?